Hi, now we're going to talk about the common ion effect with KSP. Um, so here's what this means. We're going to add this salt that virtually is insoluble, barely breaks apart. It has a KSP value. We're going to add a salt not to pure water. We're going to add it to a solution that has an ion in it already, and that ion is also in the salt. I'll show you an example of that. So common ion just means that we don't put the salt in pure water. We put it in something um, that already has the ion, an ion in it, that's going to also be in the salt. Um, so ways that this question could be worded. Uh, you could be asked, what's the mass of the salt that will dissolve when you have the presence of a common ion? Um, or you could say, calculate the solubility of the salt in the presence of some sort of common ion. So here is an example problem. <clears throat> it says, calculate the solubility of barium sulfate, great, in the presence of 0.01 molar sodium nitrate. So how do you interpret this? They actually have a solution of barium nitrate, 0.01 molar. And we're going to put into it barium sulfate. So what's the common ion? What's the same from barium sulfate to barium nitrate? It's the barium. It's this barium right here that is going to be the common ion. Um, so when you're given the amount of that common ion, make sure that you get the molarity of just the ion you're interested in. So I'm looking at this. For every 0.01 molar of barium nitrate, that is going to give me 0.01 molar ooh, of a barium ion because one barium is in that barium nitrate. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and write out our equation. I always begin with the chemical equation for the salt. So that's going to dissociate. We're going to have our barium sulfate. It's a solid. We're going to drop it into this solution. And when we do that, it's going to dissociate into the barium ion and the sulfate ion. And here's the KSP for, this is actually, sorry, the KSP for the barium sulfate right there. I just looked it up and stuck it down there so we would have it. So that's the KSP for the barium sulfate. Um, now we do our ice table and here's where it's a little bit different. Um, remember I told you when we're doing ice tables for uh, KSP, the solid, that barium, is gone. Um, so you don't need an initial concentration of the barium sulfate. Um, we need E, equilibrium concentration, and we need K the KSP value. Uh, well here, when it says calculate solubility, we want the E. We want to find how much is going to dissolve in essence. Here's where it's just a little bit different on common ion. Because I'm not putting this in pure water, I'm putting it in a solution of barium nitrate, I have an I. There's an initial amount of barium. What is it? It's that 0.01. You're going to start with that 0.01 barium. So when you have a salt being added to a solution that has a common ion on it, there's the same ion in the solution as is in the compound, that is your I. I don't start with zero of barium. I already have some barium in it because we're putting it into the barium nitrate. Now there's no sulfate, so that's zero. Um, so now we're going to have the reaction. The barium sulfate is going to dissociate and this will break into, it will, add one mole of barium ion and one mole of the sulfate ion. Now, I'll have students ask me this question. They'll say, well, Mrs. Locke, how do you know that this is a plus? Um, you already have some barium. What if that reaction goes back? Well, there's nothing to react with. That's a zero, so it will still go in a forward direction because it's got to make some sulfate before it can go in the reverse direction. Okay, let's go ahead and add this up. I plus C equals E, so 0.01 plus x, zero plus x is x. So let's write your equilibrium expression. It will be KSP equals the concentration of products, barium ion raised to the first power because it's a coefficient of one times a sulfate ion um, raised to the first power because it's the coefficient of one divided by uh, reactants, but it's a solid. So we don't use that. Let's go ahead and plug in what we do have. KSP is 1.1 times 10 to the minus 10 equals Okay, the barium is 0.01 plus x, and the sulfate is x. Now remember the trick that we used with acid bases. When you have an x next to a concentration, if that concentration has at least two zeros difference, there's at least a hundred factor difference between the concentration and the KSP, that x is negligible. 
Um, the reason why is that x is going to be so small that when you subtract it from 0.01 and do sig figs, it's still just going to be 0.01. It'll be negligible. You can take that out. So now we can do the math. To solve for x, all we have to do is divide by 0.01. And we will get 1.1 times 10 to the minus 10. Oops, sorry. 1.1 times 10 to the minus 8 equals x. So what did we find? We found x. Now remember, one mole of x came from one mole of barium sulfate. So yes, x is 1.1 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. But that is because one mole of sulfate came from one mole of barium sulfate. That also means that barium sulfate has a solubility of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 8 mole. 1.1 times 10 to the minus 8 moles will dissolve in every one liter of solution. That's the solubility of the barium sulfate. Now, a couple of things that I want you to take from this. The Chatelier's principle. I really quick did the calculation. If I put barium sulfate in pure water, I put a zero right here. So if we put it in pure water, you want to know what the solubility is. So this would be if we put it in pure water, the solubility is... 1.05 times 10 to the minus 5. Wow, that's a factor of a thousand difference. Much more soluble in water, pure water, than in this barium nitrate with a common ion. Why? What's Chatelier's principle? This is actually a really good multiple choice question. Um, less of the barium sulfate will dissociate. And you'll only have um, here, because you already have barium ion, it shifts in the reverse direction. So you'll end up having more reactants and even fewer products. And that's why the solubility is smaller. So really good takeaway from that. Okay, there you have it, the common ion effect. Remember the common ion goes in I and the solubility will always decrease. Less will dissolve because of Le Chatelier's principle when you have a common ion. Good work, have a great day, thank you.